Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. my channel for those of you who do not know my name is patty and i am a perfume junkie <laughs> that's really all you need to know as we get started with this video y'all i was gifted by my mom for christmas yes i know it is february in the february um essay lauder um fragrances some cute little sample sizes and y'all y'all about y'all about this because I had to talk to y'all about this because Estee Lauder is I think one of those lines that's really slept on I think a lot of people tend to think of Estee Lauder perfumes and automatically think about an older more mature woman but y'all that is not the case <laughs> that is not the case you are not limited by age or sex with fragrances okay so it came with four, and we're gonna start off with Pleasures. The bottles are really, really cute. As I'm sure you will see by the thumbnail, they have a cute little spray. This smells really, really good. It's kind of light. It's not really heavy. So for those who do not like those super, super strong scents, this is for you. It is very classy. You could wear it to church. You could wear it to the office. You could wear it during the day. This could easily be an everyday signature fragrance. Okay, let's, let's read a little bit about it. Okay, so the product description of this one says, as uplifting as fresh flowers after a spring rain. That is the perfect description. This clean, sparkling floral is delicately soft blend of notes of lilies, white peonies, and jasmine. All aglow with the essence of Bay Rose. Wow, that's so crazy. I said it smelled really light too. That is wild. On a day you just feel really clean, you're sitting in the house, if you work from home, you still want to smell good, I would definitely, definitely recommend that one. The next one is called Bronze Goddess, and by the name, it's giving me summer, it's giving me sexy summer by the title, so we're going to see if that's what she's truly about. Yes, this is warm. This is still giving me... for someone that doesn't like bold scents but you still want to smell sexy and not smell like floral all the time necessarily this this smells so so good i want to know more about this okay so it says feel the heat <laughs> the original cult fragrance now has a new look, alluring and sexy. The velvety texture is showcased along with creamy coconut and the radiant warmth of amber, sandalwood, and vanilla. I knew it. She smelled warm. Uh, this, this makes you want to talk to somebody. This makes you want to approach someone. It's giving very warm, very inviting. I really like this. 
definitely think you could wear it year round, but if you're one of the people that I previously described that is super into the seasonal type of fragrances, then this could definitely be more fall winter. But I, I would wear this in the spring and summer. Every day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yes. Mm. Okay. The next one we have is beautiful. I cut just enough strips, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> oh, these nails, I be struggling. Okay, I'm not gonna hold you. This one is definitely smelling a bit more mature. It does smell good, but this instantly makes me think of a, a more seasoned woman. 60s plus. I don't think I would have to layer this with something, something deeper, richer. Instantly is making me think this would layer well with the YSL Libre Intense or also the Dolce & Gabbana um, Light Blue. I think those actually would take, <laughs> take her up summer notches. Like, doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Definitely elevated by itself. It's definitely giving a more mature, it's not old money, that's what it smells like. It don't smell like, you know, you're new to this, you got it out the mud, this is baby I was born with it. <laughs> type the scent. Yes. Um, I'm still gonna read about it. I was I was about to just put it down, but um this might be your bag. And that's okay if it is. So okay, this one is described as a rich blend of rose, lily, temple rose, and orange flower, brightened with citrus, worn by woods. The middle notes are orange flower, mugget, jasmine, and gangling. Something about this, y'all, I just really don't like. This is not, this This one's not for me. It's not for me. Okay, and this is, I guess, Beautiful 2.0. <laughs> this is Beautiful Magnolia. Let's see if they gave her the remix. Yes, this smells nothing like the beautiful I just sprayed before. They are like, I don't even know, like they're just not even on the same level <laughs> at all. This does not smell mature, even though a mature woman can wear whatever she wants to wear. Just because it smells more seasoned doesn't mean you have to wear it if you're an older woman. You wear what you want to wear, period. This. This is a lighter fragrance. This is a, it's giving me springtime. It's giving me every day. It's giving me work from home. It's giving me brunch. It's giving me vacation somewhere by the sea with a beautiful view. Instantly, I am thinking about Italy. I am thinking, oh my goodness. Somewhere with just a beautiful, like overlooking the ocean, sitting with a breeze. Mm. I love this. Mm. Ooh, I want to know what that is. Okay. This one is described as a hypnotic blend with signature notes of lush magnolia, solar gardenia, warm woods, a luminous musk, romantic and feminine and radiant. Each note draws you deeper into a love story from beginning to end. Wow, it also has water locusts in it. That is crazy. I like this. I like I ooh. If you're if you're somebody that lands in the middle of floral, but also kind of likes the muskier, deeper, sexier scents, you're not super floral, it's like mm, the really sexy bold ones are like, are right, you doing a little too much? If you right in the middle. 
this one is for you. Honestly, y'all, I just did two videos in one day. I just did the next video, which I'm sure you're gonna see before this one. I high key want to mix one of the perfume oils and this together. This is one of those scents where like you have something on and you smell good, but when you go to hug somebody, they like, mm, what you got on? What is that? Girl, what you wearing? I'll be like, mm, babe, what you got on? What is, th what is that? Like, it'll just take you like off guard. Mm. So if you have ever been considering trying a lot of fragrances, if you never thought about it, I definitely say check them out. As always, I'm always a fan of trying the travel size, sample sizes first because sometimes, while you might think you love it, okay, it might take your breath away in the beginning as you wear it longer throughout the day for a few days and weeks, you might decide that you don't want it and you would hate to have paid a hundred plus dollars for a full size bottle just to realize in a couple of weeks you don't really rock with it. So definitely start off with the smaller sizes. If you have any questions, any anything at all, just drop it down in the comments below. Thank y'all so much for watching. And guys, you already know I, I have some things in my cart right now that I'm about to go and check out for another fragrance video. So I'll see y'all then. Bye.